Hi folks. Well, we're back again and I still have this dilemma regarding malleable iron. This here is what's called malleable iron and I have tried using different methods to nickel plate this with the the nickel plate liquid <laughs> and uh, yeah it uh, it's not taken it's not working so I've had to think outside the box and find out if there's a if there's another way that I can actually nickel plate or copper plate this malleable iron so I'm not saying this is gonna work but I, can, I came up with an idea I bought this stuff here this is conductive coating spray and if you wanted to coat anything in say plastic well plastic's not conductive especially when you try the nickel plate so what you do is you put this conductive spray on the item and then when it's dry you give it about three coats and when it's dry you then put it in a nickel plate and then I don't know let's see if it happens so I'm going to go off I'm going to spray this and give it three coats and then we'll put it in the nickel coating solution and then we'll see how we get on and then I'll report back to you when it's done and let you know what it looks like okay so I've now sprayed this I gave it about three coats of conductive spray which I showed you uh, earlier on and it dries very quick but what we need to do is before I put this in the nickel plating I just want to give it and um, drop it into some hydrochloric acid to actually give it a clean and then drop it into distilled water and then I'll put it into the nickel plating so so I've just put it it's just sitting there in the hydrochloric acid for a minute okay so let's take that out and let's drop it into the distilled water give it a rinse if you hear banging in the background that's my um, my son playing the drums okay so we've put it in the hydrochloric acid you put it in the distilled water now we're going to stick it into the nickel plating and what we need to do then is we need to put the the positive on the nickel plate and then the negative on the actual part itself now I do need to get another connector for this it's always good to hook up the if you have two nickel plates to hook both them both them up there okay so we're ready to go to do the nickel plating on this I'm going to switch on the power supply which we have here and it's going to be set to three volts and already you can start seeing the bubbles coming off that So we leave that for now and we'll see how we get on and see what happens. Hi folks, we're back again and it's been in for about 20 minutes and I actually um, want to agitate the water. So I have a fish tank pump which you can see just here and that just agitates the water and keeps it moving so there's no kind of funny spots on the metal. So I'm going to stop it now, take it out and let's see how we get on. Okay, so we'll take out the, the pump, put that there because it's going to be wet. 
and we'll switch off the power supply disconnect the cable and take it out Ooh. let me show the camera now it's not perfect by all means but that is a vast improvement on my previous attempt so let me just uh, I'm just going, just going to put it in the water wash it off now Now let's have a look at this. For the first attempt, that is not bad. Where's the camera? There's the camera. For the first attempt, that's not bad. That's a lot better than what I've had before. There's a, a bit of um, a bit of a mark there, but I wouldn't worry about that. So I think if we let that dry off, that's so much better, and that's only 20 minutes. Now, now that it's kind of technically nickel plated, and we let it dry off, then I'm going to see what happens if I put it in the copper plate solution. And we'll see what happens with that. So again, I'll just show you there. That's a lot better. That's that's a, a good result as far as I'm concerned. Now I know it's not shiny or anything, but I'm going to see. I'm going to give it a bit of a buffing on the buffer, as I did before before I put it in, just to see if it shines up. So I'll come back to you and let you know after I give it a little bit of a buffing and see what it looks like. Okay folks, so I gave it a bit of a buff. It's a bit shiny now and it looks like it's been plated. But we'll find out now, I'm going to try and do a copper plate on this just for a bit of fun and see what happens. So first and foremost, we'll stick it in the hydrochloric acid just to give it a clean. Then we put it into the distilled water. And we have our copper solution here. So we'll just stick this in here, making sure that it doesn't touch it. Okie doke. So we put the The negative on the cable and the positive make sure they don't touch okay they're not touching we'll switch on the power and it's uh, bubbles are beginning to form there so we'll just uh, keep an eye on this again and we'll get back to you and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if the copper goes on to the actual part and see what colour that comes out. Well folks, I'm back after about 20 minutes. I've switched off the power supply just now. I'm going to take it out and see what it looks like. Well. What the hell is that? Well, I'm not impressed with that. That's supposed to be copper. And that's not copper. I'm not impressed with that at all. Now, have a look at that. Yeah, that's supposed to be copper plated. 
So, maybe I'm doing something wrong, obviously I am, down the line here. Now I know there's um, proper liquid you can get, you can buy the actual nickel plating and the copper plating liquid and there's brightener in it and the brightener will actually make it shiny. So I might have to go and just buy the... the industry uh, rather than make my own up uh, I think I'll just have to try and buy the industry one and see if that works with the brightener in it um, yeah. Move that over there. so I've just cleaned that off and basically it's made it worse there's no copper going on there at all whatsoever so maybe it's the iron. Maybe it just doesn't work with this malleable iron. Maybe it doesn't like it. And the nickel plating seemed to be okay. So I think the best bet is to um, clean it down again. Or get another one of these parts. Spray it with the conductive spray. And then get the industry um, version of the nickel plating with the brightener in it and then see if that works because the homemade uh, nickel plating solution doesn't seem to well it seems to be okay it came out actually okay <clears throat> as you can see from the earlier video it did come out okay it wasn't bright but obviously there's no brightener in it but the nickel plating side didn't happen so i think before i do any copper plating or anything like that I need to get the nickel plating correct. I need to get that sorted and shiny. And once the nickel plating is okay, then then we'll know that maybe the copper plating might work. I might have to buy the industry standard copper plating liquid with the brightener in it as well. Um, but yeah, so I'm not really pleased with the result of the copper plating. The nickel plating was okay. I thought that was okay, but the copper plating definitely wasn't that good so um onwards and upwards and we'll see how we get on cheers <laughs>